In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the final step of import and export with data management tools, use data loader IO to update data. So you're gonna start off by downloading the account site file to your desktop, which I've done. Ensure the account site file and the account file exports are open. Okay, they're both open. Account exports on the left, account site on the right. Copy and paste from the account site into the blank site column in the account export file. So we're going to go account site, copy, paste, and save the account export CSV file in the format with a different name. Save as. Okay, Mac users, ensure that you're in the window. <clears throat> oh. We're, <laughs> we're supposed to save it as. Okay. That's the idea. Update account site import. Now update your account site import file is ready to be uploaded updated using data IO. Open data IO, click new task and select import. New task import. Select update and from the object list select account. Click next. Upload CSV, open choose update account site import file from your desktop and then click open ensure the data is mapping correctly using the existing data. If there are errors they'll be prominently denoted. Click next, save and run and run. So, since we're using the account ID, this is basically all that we're updating here. View the results, click the app launcher and select sales, the accounts tab. So we're gonna go over here, sales, accounts tab. Click on the list views control icon. Accounts modified today. Last modified date. Cool. There they are. Okay, what's this last part? Click done, click add filter again and fill in the criteria account site is not equal to blank. Oh, I see. Account site is not equal to, and I'll leave that blank. And then basically, we should see that all of these 11 ones have an account site filled in. 